Hi, hello, and welcome. What is one thing all of us have in common? Well, let me tell you. All of us have received an education. Either that or we have kids that are receiving an education within the education system. Either way, we know about our education and we are familiar with the educational system in some shape, form, or fashion, right? So today I'm going to inform you of three major differences between the private school and public school curriculum. I'm going to inform you of three ideas that you might not be aware of that are affecting the outcome of prospective students in today's educational society. According to the members of the Council for American Private Education, students attending private school benefit in private sectors because they foster academic excellence, high achievement, they educate the whole child in a value-based setting. Ultimately, their goal is to prepare our youth of today for tomorrow. The three major differences in the curriculum have statistically proven a vast difference in student performance upon graduation and thereafter. And they are the size of the class, state guidelines, and again, the religious and value-based settings that are only allowed in private school sectors. All of these factors influence the curriculum and outcome of prospective students. There are fewer students in private school versus public, and the numbers are quite astounding. Because there are fewer students enrolled in private schools, it does result in smaller student-teacher ratios. The entrance to a private sector is a very selective process, but once this parent decides to take this route, small class sizes are almost guaranteed. This factor provides a much richer learning experience as there might not be any more than around 16 students, I would say, in each private school class. Research shows students in small class sizes benefit from the individual attention, whereas some may slip through the cracks in public school settings because they've been submerged in these large class sizes for so long. And small class sizes are only one difference between these two institutions. There is a 98.8% graduation rate in private schools attributed to the integration of religious principles and values in the classroom material. Religious values, morals, ethics, and philosophies are a major influence in private sectors. The students perform better, they excel in AP classes, and every graduate from private school is statistically proven to obtain at least a bachelor's degree. The NCES provides a table of statistics proving private school students exceeded public school students' scores in every single core subject. Now, you might say, I thought religion wasn't allowed in school, so why is it even a factor in this equation? And this, ladies and gentlemen, brings me to my last and final point. The third difference making way for the aforementioned differences is the fact that public schools have to follow state and federal guidelines when it comes to curriculum. Private schools, however, are not state mandate. They literally make up their own curriculum. It is like they don't have any laws to follow at all. They mold their own. And public schools are balanced like it's a school lunch or something. I'm, you know, it just doesn't make sense to me. Private schools have unique and individual curriculum based on the needs of the student, but public schools only teach one way. Private schools offer concentrations in mathematics and science, arts, and music. Most times, it is a value-based setting, literally weaving religious morale within all of the teaching criteria. Public schools have no say why the administrators in private schools dictate everything. Public schools must follow Common Core Standards, which is a list of federal guidelines molding and balancing school curriculum. Private schools enrich lives, allowing religion, offering concentrations, AP classes, again, small class sizes, and by the way, the AP classes are mandatory. The two institutions are set up very, very differently. And just to recap, I have revealed three differences between the two institutions being large and small class sizes, religious and non-religious settings, the difference in mandates, excuse me, mandates, laws, and standards each foundation is built upon, and the differences between private and public schools are not only clear, my friends, but they are proven. I hope you leave today better informed about the differences of private and public school institutions, and I would like to say I appreciate, appreciate you so much for your time, and thank you. Until next time.